parasite once infected your ancestors and never left. About 100 million years ago, a retrovirus slipped its genetic code into the DNA of an early mammal. And somehow, instead of killing its hosts, it became kind of part of the family. <laughs> It's common to think that viruses are just a source of damaging infections, but sometimes they can give us genetic innovations. See, what you're looking at here is what gave every single one of us life. It's the interface between the placenta and the womb. And there are some odd properties about this because the cells of the fetus need to fuse with the cells of the mother. And how can they do that? Well, there's a protein called syncytin, which is integral to this process, is heavily expressed in the placenta, and there's good evidence evidence that it came from an ancient virus. See, these ancient viruses use those proteins so that they could fuse their viral envelope with our cell membranes and deposit their DNA forcefully into our cells, which over millions of years has become integrated. This isn't just some isolated incident either, as our best evidence shows that up to 8% of our DNA is actually made from these ancient viruses, even though just 1% to 2% of our DNA codes for proteins. Definitely a reminder of how we're just beginning to scratch the surface of how we're even here. 